Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle. My channel is East Bay Stamp Chick. Thanks so much for joining me today. And today's video is long overdue. <laughs> and it is my crafty collab video that normally comes out on the first of each month. And I was not able to do it this time because um, today's the fourth that I'm actually filming this. Um, I have had a cold. My voice has been bad and I didn't want to cough and sneeze and, you know, squeak my way through the video because that's no fun for anybody. So um, you might be able to tell my voice is a little deeper than normal, but it's much better. And so hopefully I won't cough or have to sniff too much. So this is all about reviewing what I accomplished with my crafty goals for November. And I think this is our last video and that in January the collaboration is going to be um, a little bit different. So I'm not totally sure if there's like a year-end wrap-up video or not. But um, there are a few other crafters in the collab that I will link down below that you can go visit and see their videos and see what they created and... They are super talented and have lots of really wonderful things. So lots of fun videos. I watch a lot of their videos just to see what they make. And um, they do tutorials and everything. So um, on to what I did. So because it's, you know, a holiday month, my work is kind of crazy in the holidays. And I was sick. And we had family in town, like all these different things. So I really had a low-key month. My October was a little off the charts as far as productive. Like it was super productive. I did so many things in October. I kind of needed a rest in November anyways. And then life was just busy. And then once I got sick, everything slowed way down. <laughs> so um, for November, I had 12 Instagram posts. I like to really have more in the 18 to 20 range. But I did 12. Um, two of those were hops. I did four YouTube videos, which is good, but I'm really trying to break out into more videos. And so I've kind of been at the four range for a while. I've done five some months. So I really want to do more. But like I said, I was sick and lots of things. I did not do any lives. I was supposed to do a couple of Facebook lives, but because I was sick and really didn't have much of a voice, I couldn't do them. Um, plus I had like, uh, you know, because I had been so busy in October, I had decided not to do as many Facebook lives, um, for November. So I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of those, but the few that I had, I had to cancel. Um, I only made, I believe like 14 cards and I did three or four other projects that I'll show you. And that was it. So not a hugely productive month for me, but that happens sometimes. And it just is what it is. So let me show you what I did make. Um, so this one right here, it was um, for a hop. It was Kendra's card challenge. She does a quarterly card challenge with um, cutting guide and card sketches. And it's really fun. Lots of prizes. She gets a lot of sponsors. So I did make this using one of her sketches. And everything on here is from Pink and Main. And then uh, these next several are all sweet and sassy and they are design team projects because I'm on their team. So this is for their new release and I don't know if you can see all the glitter gel paste I used. Um, but these were really fun cards. They're all three kind of similar um, with the same stamp set and then I used some stenciling and, and um, pigment powders. So really fun kind of mixed media cards. And then they also had a new Christmas stencil in their release. So I don't know if you can see, uh, there's some glitter gel on both of these cards as well. So these are just really easy Christmas cards when you use a layering stencil. So that was fun. They had some new coffee items in their release as well. And uh, so this was for their blog that they do for the, um, for the, uh, I can't remember the name. It was a coffee loving card makers, uh, blog hop or something. So they used it for that. And then we have two birthday cards. So kind of fun with this, um, stamps that has this little cute mouse doing all kinds of cute things. And then again, kind of mixed media. 
Um, the new stamp set was like a botanical collage stamp set, I believe. So, a lot of um, glitter and stenciling. So I made those. And then I was at a friend's house and she sells Stampin' Up! So I get the Paper Pumpkin from her, which is their monthly kit. So I did make three cards us utilizing the Paper Pumpkin kit and a stencil that Stampin' Up! came out with. And um, this was their September kit because I was way behind. I haven't done anything with <laughs> any of the kits. <laughs> so um, this was before Thanksgiving, so I thought some fall cards might be kind of fun. So I did make those. And then this card, I don't know if some of you might be aware, I do a um, called Love in a Dozen Sketch and Cutting Guide, a free PDF on my channel for 5x7 cards. And I've been trying to do one every month. And I just started it this fall. And I just got super behind, so there hasn't been a new one. This was one of the cards that I utilized in one of the videos. And I need to make the other because there should be a dozen of these and I only made the one. <laughs> so I still need to make these. This is um, using stamps and dies from the Frantic Stamper. And then the photo play, photo play paper in the background. Um, if you are following my Loving a Dozen uh, series, I will be having a new cutting guide and sketch coming out. But I am delaying it. I might even delay it until... January beginning of the new year and I'll probably go forward with like one new PDF every other month because I think doing one a month has just been too much for me uh, especially you know with work and family responsibilities and things so I might be doing might alter it just a little bit but it will be coming out um, so stay tuned so we have those and then for um, the his palette I am on the his palette design team as well and so I made a few things there. And, and his palette is Digital Printables. So I did this really fun Faith Dex card. So it commemorates uh, James 117. And then I used the uh, printables from his palette. I also painted this watercolor. And this um, you can get on his palette. It's a printable that comes with four different botanical collages so I painted this one I haven't made it into anything yet but I did get it painted <laughs> so I like the way that turned out it's really fun kind of a messy watercolor and then I did this little art journaling in a hymnal so this is the love came down at Christmas hymn and I used uh, some of their printables and then some stenciling and ink from my stash to create this page and I've never heard this song before um, I need to look it up on YouTube, but uh, just thought that would be a fun way to utilize their new um, printable that's right there. So that is all that I made. That was everything, you guys. Normally, it's a lot more, but this is it. <clears throat> My little stash. Um, stay tuned for what comes next. I'm not sure um, about the Crafty Collab, like... Where's, where, what exactly we're doing with the, that? Is there a wrap-up or not? Or moving on to a new collab? Uh, so there will be those. And also stay tuned for Love in a Dozen. I'll have some more videos coming up with that. And um, especially, you know, as my voice gets better and better, um, hopefully I'll get more made. It is December and lots of, you know, holiday, Christmas festivities and family things. So I don't know how much... Uh, be able to get made as far as projects but you can see a lot of things on my instagram so you can give me a follow over there at east Bay stamp chick and stay tuned to my youtube channel uh, because there's more coming up so if you like this video give me a give me a thumbs up give me a like and hopefully you are subscribing so you can see all the next videos all right thank you so much everyone for sticking with me and um, more to come all right have a great day Bye bye